there were so many characters that I found absolutely annoying to the point where I just wanted to stop reading. I know that that's an unpop unpopular. So I can say that the book really drew me in on that aspect. Something is going haywire ASAP. Bookworms, I'm Esme from Paradise of Pages on Instagram and also on Twitter and welcome to the last day of Christmas countdown. I can't believe it's already the last day. Um, I tried my best to give you a good video every single day and I really hope that you've enjoyed all of them. That said, today's video is going to be a little bit more special. This is something I would like to do on a monthly basis and that is makeup and mini review. So the reason why I'm here barefaced is due to the fact that I'm doing my makeup and also talking about books. I did this a little while ago um, and I really enjoyed doing it so I thought I'd do it again. Um, that said, I'm gonna stop talking now and actually get into the video. Alright, so I think on either this side or this side I'll give you the cover of the book I'm currently talking about. I can't be holding it up uh, for obvious reasons, otherwise, you know, if I hold it up there's no way in heck uh, I can do my makeup. Okay, so the first book I actually want to talk about um, is one that I think I read pretty recently, and that is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. So basically, um, we once again follow Jude and Carden and everyone else uh, who you've seen in The Cruel Prince and The Wicked King. Um, I do have to say that I had expected, well, I hadn't expected a lot from this one, I didn't expect to like it as much as I did. It was a very, very quick read. Um, that for one, which is always something I really enjoy when something is, you know, done pretty quickly. That said, I do have to say that I still feel a little bit detached from the characters. They're not necessarily my favorites. I feel like they could have been done a lot better in my opinion. I don't know why, but I do really love Carden, but even... He felt a little bit weird in the last book. I was never the biggest fan of Jude in the first place, so that's not too weird to understand that I still don't feel that much of a connection to her. All the other characters were, you know, okay to me. Um, that said, I think the plot of this book was really good, whether you like the characters or not. I know that that's an unpopular. I know that not liking these characters is probably a big unpopular opinion because everybody seems to love this trilogy until the end of everybody's days but yeah it was it was pretty good but it wasn't necessarily my favorite thing ever well I do have to say that the plot was amazing and I loved reading it because every single moment of the book was action-packed and filled with all kinds of nice things so that was really really nice and I loved reading it that said have you guys actually uh, read it what do you think about the series do you think it's overrated as well or do you think you know, it's, it, it deserves all the hype it gets. What are your feelings? The next book I want to talk about is one that I find incredibly underrated. Um, and that is Romanoff by Nadine Brandes. I've probably mentioned that one multiple times throughout the week. Um, sorry about that. I just think it's such a good book. I read it last month. Yeah, I, I read it last month. And it's basically about Anastasia's story while she's still at her with her family and she's sent into exile. And I thought it was just so interesting to read what well what happens with her, we're not completely sure, but um, it was just such an interesting read in the sense that it felt very renewing. Of course it's all fiction, um, but there are quite a few elements that the writer actually put into the books that have happened, which I find super, super interesting. She puts in the acknowledgements, which those are. So if you ever read the book, definitely read that at the end. That said, I'm a sucker for a good romance and this book definitely has romance. So I can say that the book really drew me in on that aspect. Um, also, I really love the protagonist and usually there's always a problem for me with the protagonist. They're either too much for me to handle or they're a little bit annoying or any of those kinds of things. 
But with this one, I actually loved Anastasia so much. I loved her relationship with her family. I loved the way she wanted to care for everybody, but still was also really scared. And that was really audible. And she was so hopeful that I found it very interesting to read. In general, I just think it was such a good book. And if you ever want to read something like Russia Romanov related that is fiction, definitely go for it. It was really good. Also, next time I do this, please give me some recommendations of books you would want me to talk about in these videos. I always ask that with bigger reviews, but those are not necessarily my strong suit. But I think that talking about books in like a smaller setting, as we are doing today, is something that would really work for me. Next up, I think what we should talk about is a book that I've read a while ago, and that is These Rebel Waves by Sarah Rush. I think I read that one last year. I'm pretty sure I did. I still need to read the second book, which is, I think, These Divided Shores, also by the same author, obviously. Um, and that is a book I nearly DNF'd, which you might not know if you're not following me for a long time, uh, if you're not following my reading vlogs. Um, but in the end, that was one of the books that I pushed through actually really enjoyed it at the end but the beginning it was just so slow um i wasn't the biggest fan of the characters really had to get into the world and just in general there was just so much with this series that i could not handle it was just there were so many characters that i found absolutely annoying to the point where i just wanted to stop reading um, but one of the characters really, really surprised me, and that's the reason why I kept going. Um, he was such a saddy, broody character, and if you know me, you know I love those kinds of characters. He was just so great. That said, I think the plot itself is pretty slow, especially the first half of the book. Um, it takes you ages to get some action in, the, in that book, uh, get the protagonist to actually meet, which also is a pain in the ass for me. I always love when things pick up quickly. Um, so it took me a long time to get into it, but it was still a pretty okay book. And I'm actually excited to read the second one. I was supposed to read the second one, I think in September, October, or at least I put it on my TBR that month. Um, we both know what happened to that TBR. I think I read only Priory. Um, whoops. Uh, anyway, I was talking about these rebel waves. Um, it was such a great read. Um, even though it really took me a while to get into it, I did really, really appreciate it at the end. And uh, I need to start reading the second one, but there's so much that I want to read. Okay, so I think we're on book four already. I was thinking I can do five-ish books each video. Um, also, if you want to know any of the makeup that I'm using, I'm not showing you, but if you want to know, just ask. Um, I thought it would take too much time to both show you all the makeup I'm using and also talk about the books, so that's why I'm not doing that. That said, next up is a book that I read this summer. Let me just first do eyeliner and then I'll be right back with you. <laughs> Alright, so the eyeliner is on, at least mostly. Um, and the next book that I wanted to talk about is actually Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I read that one this summer um, after having it for over two years and finally getting to it. Uh, it took me a little bit too long, but eventually I made it and I read the book. That said, I was a little bit uh, disappointed with it. Uh, it was a pretty nice story. I loved the rarities of it because it was a very strange book. But the characters, especially the romance, I have to start with that one. The romance was quite cringy. It was way too quick, a little bit annoying, um, and I was not having it. That said, uh, the storyline was pretty good. Of course, you know when you start the book that something is going haywire ASAP because of the fact that our protagonist will turn into Queen of Hearts. Um, so, I just generally expected a lot more from it. I would have liked a lot more from it. But it wasn't necessarily a bad book. Um, when thinking about the world building, I also thought that it wasn't the 
greatest in the world is already created by Lewis Carroll to begin with. So you just have so much to work with because Lewis, Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland is absolutely amazing. I did like the idea of where the Jabberwocky came from. Um, if you've read the book, you know what I mean, which was such an interesting element to the book and to the story. That said, I do think that I gave it three or four stars in the end, so it was it was good, but it was just a little bit disappointing for me. Okay, so I think we're already getting to the last book because I'm nearly done with my makeup. This is actually going faster than I thought it would, but I mean, that's good. That's good. That means I don't need to spend days on editing because I don't have days on editing. I have mere hours on editing. <laughs> well, no, I have a little bit longer on editing, but there's a lot of videos I have to edit, so I can't take too much time making them. Okay, so the last book I want to talk about is a Lainey Taylor book. It is not Strange Dreamer. I've talked about that multiple times. But the one I want to talk about is Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I read that one two years ago, especially because Femke asked me to read it. Um, well, she didn't ask. She forced me to, basically. But I still thank her for that to this day because it is amazing. This book is kind of difficult to explain but it is such an amazing book so I think it would be really beneficial for you guys to read it. Um, if you want to know what it's about, it's basically about, about Karu and you follow her story. Um, if you want to know the complexity of this book, I think it would be wise to go to Goodreads because Goodreads can tell you better than I can. Um, but that said, I think the characters were absolutely amazing. The premise of the book was great. I do have to say that the second one was my favorite but the first one it's so good. Also, if you have a hard time going into Stranger Dreamer because it's too big or too daunting or too uh, hard or difficult to read, I would start this one first because it's a lot easier to get into. It's a lot more action-packed and it's a lot easier to understand. I'm not saying that the storyline is easy. I'm just saying that it might be a little bit more easy to grasp. That said, I absolutely love every single character in that story. Karu is my baby, Akiva is my baby, I love Hazeo, I love everybody in there. Um, and in general, I just think that this is a book that everyone should read. I rarely talk about it and I really, really want to reread it. Um, maybe next year. It's such a great book and I think, I think you will love it too. So please, I think you will love it too. <laughs> Um, so please do read it. Um, if you've already read it, let me know what you thought. I'm interested to see. Okay, that is enough highlighter, Esme. Put the highlighter brush down. I think the last step, actually now, is lipstick. I am going to show you the lipstick because it's a cult favorite. And it's the NYX Lip Lingerie in Seduction. I'm pretending like I'm reading it, but I already know it, know it by heart. <laughs> okay. That's my makeup done. Uh, I loved doing this video actually. I think it is very nice to do. I love doing my makeup on a daily basis anyway. So I think it's interesting f to do this kind of setting where I just casually do my makeup and talk with you guys. I can also do this in different settings, so not necessarily book review, but I can also just talk about different stuff if, you, if you'd like. That said, I think this really marks the end of the Christmas countdown. Before I do anything else, I want to wish you guys happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all those kinds of good things. I hope that your year has been better than mine because I'm sure it has been. Um, that said, uh, next week on the same day, you can once again expect a weekly vlog, which is gonna be including Christmas. So I hope you'll have fun watching that too. I hope you've enjoyed this Christmas countdown. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting us. Uh, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to your channel and press that little bell icon so you get post notifications every single time that we post. And I will see you guys the next time. Bye! Bye.